Hey guys, so I'm going to just show you something really simple. It's nothing fancy, but I am making a roast this week. And normally I, if I'm in town where I am on grid, I would just throw it in the crock pot, but I'm out of the cabin and uh, tomorrow night for dinner, I am making this on the wood stove in my Dutch oven. Now the trick I'm going to show you guys will work either in a crock pot, um, in your oven, or on your wood stove. The trick I'm going to show you is this. So let me get this out of here. All right. This is my freezer. I got a roast from Safeway or Albertsons or whatever you have. I got a small one. I put it in the freezer. Now the trick is you start your roast frozen. And let me show you what else I put in with my roast. One second, let me grab it. All right, this is take two because I can't talk. I am going to put the frozen roast in the Dutch oven with a beef stew mix, okay? This makes like crazy gravy if you're gonna be doing a mashed potato and gravy with it. I'm not, I'm going to roast vegetables with it this time. I could throw all my vegetables in with it, but I feel, I'm feeling like some roasted vegetables right now. And so I'm gonna do this. It, it calls for like three cups of water. And so that's what I'm going to use. And you're gonna put the frozen roast in until it's done. And what happens is when you start the roast frozen, and you can even use this with a really tough cut of meat. Um, I don't understand how it works. If you know, leave it in the comments below. But when you start it frozen, it makes it the most tender, cut. I mean, you could use, I don't know. I can't think of a tough cut of meat right now, but it is crazy how amazing it turns out. So as I do this, I will show you, but this is uh, the day before. So I just threw this in the, I just got up here, threw my roast from perfectly ready to cook into the freezer because I am starting this frozen. So I will show you guys tomorrow, probably about, I don't know, 11 or 10. That's when I'm going to start it cooking. All right. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So I just got done putting the roast in. That is a, I believe it said beef tip. I can't remember exactly. It's 5.22 pounds. I've got three cups of water in there and a beef stew packet. And it's going on our fire, which is going pretty good. But again, you could use a crock pot. You could put this in your oven, but this is frozen and it is starting. It'll also release its own juices into here and it'll be fork tender. Trust me on this guys, you will see. I'm also gonna be roasting some veggies. I could put veggies in with this later on, but I'm not. I wanted roasted veggies this time. So we'll check back in a couple hours and see where we're at. Oh my, look at this. Bubbling away. I didn't realize it was ro had ropes around it. It's looking amazing and it's making us starving in the middle of the daytime because it's making everything smell so good. But already it's looking very tender. And I have a tea kettle on the wood stove. You can see there and it's starting to whistle. So I think we might have to have ourselves some hot chocolate or cider. And these two, as you could tell, Mr. Loki is getting to be a very big boy. Last check, he was 35 pounds and he's almost half as big as Scarlet. Huh, are you getting to be a big boy? Yes, you are. Yeah, he thinks he's uh, allowed to share her bed and she just is not too sure about it sometimes. Alrighty, so I've got some carrots, some Brussels sprouts, some mushrooms, and some I've got some potatoes. I've got them all roasted. Uh, don't mind this. I've been uh, canning some turkey and uh, <sighs> got some for my mother-in-law I'm doing and doing some for us. But I'm going to roast all this in the uh, oven right now. Um, the roast is just about finished on the, on the wood stove. 
but I am going to get this going in the oven. Hey guys. So anyways, um, stuff's canning outside right now. I got the broth going, got some turkey uh, canning. Um, that video is going to be pro probably coming out next week. So let's get this going and then I'll show you guys how dinner turns out. So stay tuned. All right, let's check this out. Oh, geez, look at this. Barely even moving it with the fork. And it is falling apart. I don't even have to do anything with those little uh, ropes. Perfect. So let's get these veggies out and serve everything up. Ooh, these look so good. I am really ready to have some dinner. And every one of these vegetables, I'm sure the dogs will enjoy if we have any leftovers. So we will definitely let them try. I know they love Brussels sprouts. So we'll let them try them out as well and we'll dish up in just a second. Well, dinner is ready. Here's mine. And uh, he's not fond of the Brussels sprouts, but how's the roast? Real tender. Yeah. So cooking it frozen totally the key it could be it doesn't matter the cut it works great no matter what so if you guys like this video I've got a bunch more coming up I'm going to be making uh, vanilla I'm going to be baking uh, cranberry juice coming up I'm also going to make a cranberry orange bread coming up uh, what else going to make apple pie again I forgot to film it last time I did it so lots of fun stuff coming up since it's winter we can't do much building outside so hope you guys have a great one and we'll talk to you later bye life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic 